This is Eyewitness News Break, sponsored by Elio's Pizza. Hi, I'm Deborah Giannolis. Coming up on Eyewitness News at 11, we'll have the latest from the Chinese capital, where protesters continue to defy martial law, even after weekend violence. Services are held in Tallahassee for the late Claude Pepper as final farewells flood in. A local graduating class gets a stellar send-off from the man who's been in space. And finally, we'll show you a car fit for a Batman fan. Join us at 11 o'clock. This is CBS. Hello, I'm Deborah Giannolis. Tom Wills has the night off. I'm Nancy Rubin. In the news tonight, Chinese protesters keep going even in the wake of last weekend's bloodbath. It was a day of final farewells for a legendary Florida congressman. And a stellar graduation send-off from a man who's been in space. Join Nancy and me for Eyewitness News next. Now, Channel 4's Eyewitness News, the number one news with Tom Wills. Deborah Giannola, meteorologist George Wendling with weather, Sam Kavaris with sports, and the Eyewitness News team. Good evening. The White House responded today as the Chinese people continued to defy the People's Army in the wake of a weekend bloodshed. The Communist government of China is calling the weekend massacre of unarmed civilians the initial victory, but there are no signs the people are giving up. One man even stood today in the middle of the Avenue of Eternal Peace in Tiananmen Square and stopped 13 tanks dead in their tracks. He then climbed aboard the lead tank and spoke with the crew. Finally, bystanders led him away. So many Chinese citizens have been seen trying to fight the army with their bare hands. So many have been seen shot dead. Today, President Bush responded accusing the Chinese government of brutally suppressing a peaceful movement. Tom Walker of our Washington Bureau reports. Place so far. President Bush said he was halting further military assistance to China in hopes of encouraging restraint in the use of force against the pro-democracy movement. The United States cannot condone the 